Here we have a very simple GraphQL schema to fetch a list of products. We also have a server that we are importing that GraphQL schema and we are using Faker to create some fake products through the GraphQL resolver. We're using GraphQL Yoga and we'll cover that in a separate video, but we are simply running the server localhost on port 4000. If we open Graphical, we can run the query to fetch all of our products and we can fetch a product by a specific ID. And we have this code already pushed to GitHub in its own repository. We'll be using GraphQL Inspector to detect breaking changes throughout our schema. And we'll also install the GitHub action to annotate the schema when we submit a new pull request or we push new code to GitHub. GraphQL Inspector has so much more and it allows us to compare and validate the diffs between different GraphQL schemas. But in this example, we'll just use some schema that we have in our project. So to get started, copy the GitHub action from the documentation and then inside of your project, create the new file in the folder GitHub workflows inspect.yml. You can name what this whatever you like and we'll just give this a name of GraphQL inspector. Then let's update the action version to use checkout out v2 and then we'll change the schema file to fetch from the main branch schema.graphql. Then let's go ahead and commit this file to Git and we'll push that to GitHub. Now, if we go back to GitHub, we can see that something is happening. We can see the check in place with GitHub and this is our action that we've just created running inside of GitHub. We can see GraphQL Inspector detected no changes when we pushed this new update to the repository. Then let's go ahead and remove the price field from the type product and we'll create a new branch and we'll commit and push this to GitHub. Now inside of GitHub, let's open a new pull request with that new branch we've just pushed. And if we wait a few seconds, a new check will be ran. We can see here that some checks failed. And this is GraphQL Inspector running through the GraphQL action that we have inside of the repository. If we switch to the files changed, we can see here some annotations on this schema. Here we can note that the price field has been removed and GraphQL Inspector has detected that this is a break in change. So this is good. This is not something that we want to push to production and it gives us a hint at what we can do instead. So now let's, instead of removing the field, we'll just deprecate it inside of the schema. Once deprecated, we'll also commit and push that to GitHub. Then if we go back to the pull request, we can now see that all checks have passed. There are no longer any break and changes and we are good to merge this schema change. You can also use the CLI to check for changes before you commit to GitHub. Then let's go ahead and create an invalid GraphQL query inside of a new file, query.graphql. Then inside of package.json, let's create a script to validate the schema using GraphQL Inspector. And here we'll pass it the file to our query and the schema. Then if we run that, we can see that we have an invalid query. If we update the query and run it again, everything will be successful. Now let's go ahead and update the schema to remove a field but we'll still query for that field inside of our query.graphql file. If we then validate, we'll be able to see that we cannot query name because it no longer exists. 